What's cracking, guys? Omar Esau here, back with another video. Ignore the shit stats, because I'm dropping straight fire in this video. This is the one that you wanted. This is the one that you requested to catch up to speed in case you missed it. Two weeks ago, I posted a video with this chart right here explaining, outlining basic strength programming, how to make it effective for you, how to make progress when it comes to getting stronger. This represents right here, this methodology, something that's very basic, intuitive. It incorporates self-regulation. So based upon what you do, how you do, determines what you do the next week. It combines percentages along with a little bit of that auto-regulation, how you perform, how you feel on that day. And I said, you know what? We have this, this is part of our Kaizen training. Myself, sound like Bart Kwan, we have a program. It's part of our overall strength peaking powerlifting program. It's a small component called the Infinitely Repeatable Powerlifting Program that incorporates all this stuff. I said, feeling generous. If you guys give this video 4,000 likes, we'll release it for free because we're just feeling that way. And guess what? You crazy people out there gave it 10,000 likes. There's, I think, like a 1,000 comments saying, yo, man, release this program. I want to make gains. Guess what, son? Enjoy yourself. We are releasing it. This is the announcement video, but I'm going to go even more in-depth because there were a lot of questions Previously, how to incorporate this. In the description right now, there is the free program. Just sign up, you'll get it. It comes with a PDF, a, a mini guide. I try to make it as short as possible. It's about 1,500 words explaining how to best utilize this program. It is a full program. It is four times per week. People ask, how many times am I gonna do each movement? Twice. Uh, what do you do on the day that you don't basically do this, your AMRAP set? Well, we explain it. Basically, you do a lighter percentage and you do it for more repetitions. Let's get right into this. So first off, who is this for? Who is this appropriate for? I would say this is appropriate for someone that's not a novice. So someone that's not a complete beginner, an intermediate lifter, someone that's been lifting for at least a year that wants to increase their strength and they don't quite know what to do. Someone that does know how to judge their body, their performance. I don't want someone going to complete failure. And that's what when we said AMRAP, which stands for as many reps as possible, we mean as many clean reps as possible. I don't want your L5 shooting out your bag. I don't want you blowing out your pec. We want good clean reps. So if this sounds like you, if you're an intermediate person that wants to get stronger, this is your program. And if you do download this program, do me a favor, like this video, leave a comment below. If we get this video to 5,000 likes, we're coming up with a bodybuilding program featuring Alberto Nunez. We'll release a component of that for free for you guys. Anyways, let's break this down. So what is this program? I'll give you a quick summary of what I talked about in the previous video, but then delve even deeper because now you'll have the split. You'll see it's four times per week, how to optimize it for the individual. In the first place, like I was talking about, this program, why I really like this methodology, it incorporates two things at once, percentages, and it also incorporates auto-regulation, how you perform on that day. Here's the problem with a lot of percentage-based programs. So they'll say 80%, do for three sets of three and they'll outline maybe 12 weeks, 16 weeks, four weeks, 24 weeks, whatever, a certain amount of weeks, and they'll give you percentages based upon your one rep max. Cool. The problem is that this is assuming that every single week you'll have the same amount of energy, that life won't happen, and that's not realistic unless you are a professional athlete, someone that can block off that amount of time every single week to hit the gym with the same intensity. Shit happens, life happens, personal problems, uh, stress, school, relationships, a lot of different things. So sometimes, some weeks, you're just not going to be able to perform at the percentage they want you to do for that amount of reps. So that's why I think a purely based percentage program sometimes can't work for the average population. Okay, cool. But how do we then use percentages, which is good because then we could use hard and fast numbers in order to get a training effect for the average population. And that's when we talk about self-regulation. And what that means is that based upon how you perform on your fourth set of your main movement every single time you train, it's a four time per week program, will determine what you do the next week. If you do great, you increase the weight. If you do, all right, so if you do six to seven reps, you repeat the same percentage. And if you don't do well, so if you get five or less repetitions, you'll actually go down in percentage. And that way it helps manage fatigue. Remember, fatigue accumulates over time when it comes to training. You feel really jacked up, you start off week one feeling so good, and then by week six, you know, accumulated volume, fatigue, training really hard. You feel a little bit tired, it's time to deload. We'll talk all about that. So the first step with this program, how to uh, utilize it, like I said, it's four times per week. You gotta know your one rep max. If you don't know your one rep max right off the top of your head, that's cool. Link in the description uses a rep calculator to roughly estimate what your one rep max is. For this person right here, we're estimating that their one rep max is about 500 pounds. Cool, so you got that 
every single day it's four times per week on day one it's going to be deadlifts that's going to be monday that's the focus day two is going to be bench press that's tuesday uh day three which would be thursday would be a squat focus that's your main movement day four is the overhead press and for each of those movements on those days what you'll do you start first with three sets of five and you're going to start week one at 70 percent after that, for your fourth set, so you do these three sets, then on your fourth set, you do that AMRAP, which means as many clean repetitions as possible. Because this is 70% of your one rep max, you should be able to get at least eight, nine, more like 10, 11, 12 repetitions for your week one. If you do do that, after you do this, so you do this whole thing, you squat, let's say this is your squat, you squat 500 pounds, you're working at 70%, so uh, that's probably, what is that, 360 pounds, I believe. And so what you'll do after that, you'll assess. You get 11 repetitions, cool. You take a look at this chart here. For your AMRAP, if you get eight or more, you'll go up in weight. If you get six to seven, you stay at that percentage. Five or less, you actually go down two and a half percent. Now here's the cool thing. I'm going to assume you guys watching this video, maybe you paused the video, you downloaded the Excel, so you have this in front of you. Our Excel does this for you. So all you need to do is put right here your one rep max, and then it'll tell you your first week's percentage, what you need to do. So at 500 pounds, you are that's your one rep max, 70% of that, 360 pounds. And from there, what you'll do is you're gonna try slowly over time to get your AMRAP, you get 10 repetitions. Week two, after that happens, they'll automatically fill this in in Excel. Week two, you you're bumped up 2.5%, so that's 72.5%. You keep going this way, adjusting based upon how you do, getting at least hopefully eight repetitions on that AMRAP fourth set until you get to around 80%, okay? And so that probably for most of you guys, because you're fresh, this is new, there's something different for you, you'll probably do that on week five. So week one, 70%, week two, 72.5%, week three, 75%, week four, 77.5%, week five is 80%. After you do that, because that's about a five week block, that's pretty good. You see what you do with 80%. So you do first your three sets of five, and then you do your fourth set, a one set of AMRAP, as many reps as possible. And now if you get this for at least eight repetitions, this probably means you have a new one rep max. So you're doing well, you're working with those reps well. And that is because eight reps roughly translates to 80% of your one rep max. So if you get eight or more, that means you're at least as good as you were before. So 500 pounds, maybe a little bit better. What do you do from here? Well, you have two options, either a test so you could slowly take two weeks uh, after you do your first five weeks test it out get a new percentage maybe squat 510 pounds and then use that as your new max and do the exact same thing where you go to 70 percent or the other option which is the one i'd recommend is to continually build strength what you do is take a deload so you work all the way up to 80 percent you go from 70 to 80 and then what you're going to do is you're going to deload by seven and a half percent so you're gonna go down to 72.5%. You restart the training block, except this time you're two and a half percent more than you were the previous time. So instead of starting at 70%, you start at 72.5%. You do the same process until you get to 82.5%. Basically, whatever block you start off at, 70%, 72.5%, 75%, you wanna get roughly about 10% over that before you decide whether or not to test or deload. And again, in the PDF in the guide, it explains all this. The calculator actually does the work for you, so you just gotta enter how many reps you get, and then it'll enter the equation, it'll figure it out, you know what, you did well, go up, uh, you didn't do so well, say the same, you did terrible, go down and wait. So I'll do all this for you, but I really wanna explain it so you guys understand the science behind it. Uh, what I would recommend for the majority of you guys out there is take 16 weeks to build strength. So essentially you do weeks one through five, 70 to 80%, deload down to 72.5%, work your way back up to 82.5%, as long as you get those eight repetitions, deload back down now, this time to 75%, Work your way back up to 85%, and after you're at 85%, if you can do 85% at eight reps or more, that means most definitely your one rep max has increased. You can take your time, take a week, take two weeks, test it out. Probably for you, if you could do uh, at 85%, eight or nine repetitions, you're probably no longer at 500 pounds, you're probably at 510, 520 pounds. Test that out, Get it, whatever you get, 520 pounds, cool. And that's your new one rep max. And then you'll start once again with the deload, which would be 70%. In this way, once again, it regulates itself. It's self-regulating where you work up to a certain percentage, get good quality training in there, and then you deload back down. 
We call it the infinitely repeatable program because if you use these principles gradually over time, what you will find is that you will get stronger and you can repeat this. It has a lot of customization built within it. Why? Well, we made it four times per week. Like I, uh, I said, people ask, how many times will you be squatting? How many times will you be deadlifting? It's two times per week. So on your deadlift day, day one, you start off with deadlifts, then you do an accessory, which is a squat movement. Same idea on the bench press. You do a bench press on day two. Day three, you do squats, and then you do an accessory deadlift. Day four is overhead press, and then you, uh, you do an accessory bench press. Awesome. Common questions that get asked by people that purchase the program would be, can you add volume? Because it is four times per week, I think the total sets per workout are probably 16 sets, something like that, so it's not exceptionally high when it comes to strength training. The short answer is yes, as long as it doesn't interfere with you getting stronger. Because keep in mind, there's a difference between being a pure bodybuilder where you'd handle more volume and trying to get stronger, which means you have to manage fatigue, therefore manage volume. As long as it doesn't interfere with any of this stuff, you can absolutely increase the volume, increase the accessory work, what you do. I would increase the main movement, what you do, that's set in stone. But if you want to do additional, let's say, a back work, shoulder work, arm work, things like that, so fluff and puff, uh, just for aesthetic purposes, for hypertrophy, absolutely add in a fifth day where you do light work, uh, weak areas that you want to improve upon, you can totally do that. We have a lot more coming up. Stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked the video, if you downloaded the program, make sure to like the damn video if you want to see us release part of that Alberto Nunez bodybuilding program coming up for free. Again, give this video a like, get it to 5,000, and we will make it happen. Post any questions you have in the comment section below. I will do my best when this video is first posted within the first hour to answer your questions. I'm out of here. It's hot as balls up here on the top floor. I got to get out and do my professional toning. I will see all you guys, my rascals, in that next video. Peace.